Loved by horror fans all over the world, the Swedish actress Eva Allen is known for starring as the title character in the cult classic Candy. Did you know that she had a secret marriage with her first husband during the filming of Candy? Let's dive into the video and see what kind of a life this sweet Candy actress lived. Winning the title of Miss Teen Sweden and becoming Miss Teen International, Eva Allen was destined for a life of fame. She was born February 13, 1950 in Sweden. When she was 15 years old, she participated in a beauty contest and became Miss Teen Sweden. Winning this title helped her achieve some level of fame in her native Sweden. In the same year, she was chosen by Swedish filmmaker Gunnar Fischer to star as a young girl in his short film The Devil's Instrument. She soon moved to Hollywood and represented Sweden in the first ever Miss Teen International Beauty Contest. She won the title of Miss Teen International 1966, and her victory helped her to become even more popular, but she was still not well known in Hollywood. She went back to Sweden and appeared in a Swedish entertainment show called Highlands Horna. She was beginning to attract attention, not just in Sweden, but also in Italy. Starting her film career with Italian films, in 1967, when Allen was just 16 years old, she made her feature film debut in a film called Don Juan in Sicily. She appeared in a couple of other films during this time and was catapulted to fame. Despite being somewhat successful in Europe, she was still relatively unknown in Hollywood. Most of the Italian films she starred in were forgotten soon after they were released. Candy, the film that would go on to define her acting career. She started her career with Italian films, but it was going to be her fifth film that she would become most famous for. The film wasn't a particularly good one. In fact, it was so bad that today it has a cult status among a very small number of fans. A year after she became Miss Teen International, she was selected to play the title character of the 1968 film Candy. The first time people learned about Candy was in the 1967 edition of the Daily Mirror, but it mostly focused on the Beatles member Ringo Starr. The newspaper wrote, The girl who will have a film love affair with Beatle Ringo Starr was named last night. She is Ava Allen, an 18-year-old Swedish blonde. Allen starred as the innocent and beautiful Candy Christian who just can't say no to anyone because of which she has some strange encounters with characters played by Marlon Brando, Richard Burton, and Ringo Starr. At the time of its release, it was thought to be a typical 60s spoof that was meant to leave viewers feeling confused and shocked. But if you view it now, it just seems silly. Candy and a couple of other films were seen as part of the counterculture that had gripped the American society in the 60s. What were Allen's thoughts on Candy? Allen herself once spoke on the film, saying Candy is a moral lesson about a pure, childlike girl who is taken advantage of by selfish, amoral people. She just wants to make people happy. If everyone were like Candy, the world would be a better place. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer, but it went to a different actress. The film was more successful in Europe than in America, and because of Allen's role, she was stereotyped as a blonde nymphette by film critics. It was around this time that she married her first husband, musician and filmmaker John W. Shadow, Shadow Nolan would covertly be during the shooting of Candy. She spoke about him very fondly in one interview, saying he was an Englishman and he was going to write a book. Nolan appeared in only one other American film, Start the Revolution Without Me, a comedy that was set during the French Revolution. The film, just like Candy, wasn't successful in America, acting in her husband's films and going back to doing Italian films. After realizing that she wasn't going to find any success in America, and feeling disappointed with the way things were in the country, she decided to pack her bags and move back to Europe. She starred in an experimental film, which was written and directed by her husband, John Shadow, who was a musician who used his family's money to become a film producer. He set up his soundstage and named it after himself. Shadow and Olin married secretly in Mexico in 1968. The experimental film she starred in wasn't released anywhere in the world, and Olin began acting in Italian films again. Many of the films she starred in during this time were more geared towards adults, and they were set in the Middle Ages. She also starred in drama and thrillers, or giallo as they are called in Italy, becoming a horror queen and marrying her second husband. By the mid-1970s, Olin had grown even more disappointed with the film business. She often called it a 
hard, rude, heartbreaking business. She pointed out that if you were sweet and light in filmmaking, you would easily get stepped on by everyone. Despite feeling hopeless about the trajectory of her career, she kept looking for roles and was cast as an undead avenging angel in the 1973 gothic horror film Death Smiles at a Murderer. The film was an Edgar Allan Poe-inspired fantasy that involved supernatural elements. Olin plays a character who returns from the dead to seek vengeance. Fans of horror films remember her for two other films that she did, Death Laid an Egg and Legend of Blood Castle. Olin divorced Chato in 1972. Details about their divorce or their relationship were never made public. But two years after the divorce, Olin, who was 24 at the time, married her second husband, builder Cesar Palladino. It seemed that Olin was trying to distance herself from the world of films. Retirement from acting and becoming a teacher. She had two daughters from her marriage with Palladino, one of whom went on to become a partner of the 58th Prime Minister of Italy. By the time she turned 24, she had realized acting wasn't for her. She was offered the role for El Condor in 1970, but she turned it down because of its crudity. She retired from films and enrolled at a university to study teaching. She made her final appearance at a film called Stella's Favor in 1996. It was a supporting role, and it didn't do much to revive her dead career. In an interview, she said that becoming a teacher was her childhood ambition. In a way, she was similar to her character Candy because she was exploited by filmmakers for her good looks and she never really found a role through which she was able to demonstrate her acting abilities. She's still, however, remembered by horror and thriller fans all over the world. So what's your favorite Eva Allen film? Are you going to be binge-watching her horror and thriller films tonight? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you hit the subscribe button.